Hi everybody, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, July 10th. The White House got some support in its push for immigration reform from a prominent Republican. Former President George W. Bush spoke at a naturalization ceremony in Dallas. He pushed for a positive solution to the debate in Congress over immigration, Mr. Bush calling the current system broken and in need of repair. The Senate has passed a bipartisan immigration reform package. The former president's remarks came just a few hours before the House Republican leadership was due to discuss how it will handle that measure when it comes to their chamber. Hopes for a deal to return the interest rates on student loans to their lower levels suffered a setback today. Democrats in the Senate failed in a move to restore that loan rate of 3.4 percent for one year. That lower rate expired at the end of last month with the new rate at 6.8 percent. Opponents said a single-year stopgap measure was not the answer. They're pushing for a long-term reduction that would tie the interest rate to fluctuations in the financial markets. The state of Texas appears headed toward enacting strict new abortion laws. The state House of Representatives approved a bill that would ban abortions after 20 weeks. It would also create other restrictions that would lead to the closure of most abortion clinics in the state. The bill now goes to the state Senate, where it is expected to receive strong support as well, and Texas Governor Rick Perry is expected to sign the measure when it reaches his desk. He issued a statement praising the approval today in the House. And reform the state's public employee pension system or go without a paycheck. That's the message to Illinois legislators from Governor Pat Quinn. The governor used his line-item veto power to withhold pay from lawmakers and says he'll continue to do so until they come up with plans to fix the pension system's $100 billion deficit. Quinn says he will not accept a salary himself either until there's a deal. He told a news conference the best way to spur legislators into action on the issue was to hit them in the wallet. That's your political news roundup for Wednesday, July 10th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.